देहिनोस्मिन् यथा देहे कौमरम यौवनम जरा तथा देहांतर प्राप्तेर धीरस्तत्र न मोहयति Considering that each living being possesses an individual soul, the body undergoes constant transformation, transitioning from childhood to youth to old age. However, the eternal spirit soul remains unchanged throughout these alterations. Eventually, upon death, the individual soul leaves the current body and moves to another, ensuring a continuation of existence. Hence, there is no reason for Arjuna to lament the demise of Bhishma or Drona, as they were destined to acquire new bodies, either material or spiritual, in their next birth. Rather than mourn, Arjuna should celebrate their transition from old to new bodies, rejuvenating their vitality. These changes in bodily form determine the diverse experiences of pleasure or pain based on one's actions in life. Given the noble nature of Bhishma and Drona, they were certain to obtain spiritual bodies in their next lives or enjoy superior material existence in heavenly realms. Thus, there is no justification for sorrow in either scenario. All in life is transient. Emotions, thoughts, people and landscapes cling not but rather flow with the ever-changing current. Reflecting deeply, the soul constant amidst life's flux is change. Even now, as you read this, time has shifted, clouds have moved, and perhaps your mood has too. Humanity, like the world around us, is in perpetual motion, evolving ceaselessly. In my recent journeys, I have been starkly reminded of life's fleeting nature, the swift passage of time the ephemeral nature of each passing moment. Viewing life through the lens of impermanence lends simplicity to our existence. Emotions become more palatable, allowing us to observe rather than react to them, recognizing that every emotion, whether joyous or sorrowful, is fleeting. We learn to let them pass finding solace in the knowledge that this too shall pass. This awareness brings relief in adversity and amplifies joy in moments of happiness. Our minds teem with thoughts, racing incessantly, especially when we try to control the present or dwell on the past. Since embracing impermanence, I have found peace in observing thoughts as they come and go relinquishing the need to control or anticipate. As sobering as it sounds, even the people in our lives are transient. We all have an expiration date urging us to cherish each moment with loved ones. Tomorrow isn't promised. Hence, expressing gratitude and affection becomes paramount. Life's unpredictability is its beauty. Everything can change in an instant, compelling us to relish the present moment and cultivate gratitude for what we have. Challenges morph into opportunities, while moments of bliss remind us of life's ephemeral nature. Embracing impermanence reshapes our perspective, reminding us that every passing moment is a step towards growth. Each moment is a gift urging us to cherish it fully. Let's not cling to the past or fret about the future, but immerse ourselves in the present, for it's all we truly possess. With this realization, let's embrace life with vigor, seizing opportunities and gracefully releasing what no longer serves us. Let's treasure fleeting moments, live life to the fullest, nurture our well-being and pursue what ignites our soul. Life is short and nothing lasts forever. Today is transient, tomorrow is a mere whisper. Let's grasp life's reins, ready to face whatever comes our way. 
knowing that impermanence is the only constant.